Hi, my name is Mayor. I'm Richard. And I'm Christine. And what we made for our final project for 5760 is a hand motion controlled Tetris game. So it includes all the original dynamics of Tetris, but is controlled with the movements of your hand. Uh, so the basic idea on how we did this was we have two FPGAs here. One is running the actual Tetris game, and the other one is running the skin recognition for the control. Uh, this board uh, has a timer that counts down and also keeps track every time a new line is erased, uh, just like in the real Tetris game. This board over here does all the skin recognition and controls and sends each control over uh, through the GPIO ports to this FPGA and you can move the pieces right, left, or rotate. Okay, I want to, there's a, there's a video camera here which is staring at Christine mm -hmm. and now make some motions over at the... Yep, so I'm going to make it go... So what's basically happening here is each section of the screen is split into a different part and we basically keep track of how many white pixels are in each section and if there are enough white pixels above a certain threshold then we'll send a high signal to actually do that action for the specific piece. So right now we have uh, right, left, and then if you raise your hand up it rotates the piece. So right now it's going to the right, and now it's going to go to the left. Slowly, and then now it's going to rotate up. Yep. I'm going to let it fall down. Mm -hmm. Set at a pretty slow speed right now because it's a little hard to do when it goes really quickly. So speed it up and let's see what happens. So it wraps pretty well, but again, it's a lot harder to get an entire row if you do that. It responds pretty good though. That looks. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little harder. Yeah. For sure. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Not too good at this game. We also enabled it so that you could play the game with the switches as well. Yeah. Even though the main idea is to do it via hand motions, but if. Well, for testing the machine, it's a good yeah, idea. It's a lot yeah, for testing. With the switches. So this makes it go left, right. And you can rotate. The LEDs were also very helpful in terms of testing and yeah. seeing if the signals from the uh, motion detector were actually being sent to the first uh, FPGA and making sure it was actually sent over the GPIO to the other FPGA as well. Yep. Yeah, it was good for helping us figure out the boundaries too to see if it was actually recognizing the walls and sure. other like figures. And the, uh, the skin detection was pretty straightforward to implement because uh, regardless of skin intensity, uh, everybody pretty much has the same, uh, within the same range of colors in terms of uh, U and V in the Y U V color space. So in Y so Y in Y U V color space, U and V encode the spectral information. Yes, basic. Yeah, basically the the skin tone, right. uh, not that, related to intensity. But I also found out that the V component isn't as important as the U component. So this actually just looks at the U component and looks at red and green within the picture, and if the amount of red minus the amount of green is within a range of I believe 60 to 256, uh, then it, it recognizes that as skin. Interesting. Okay, thank you.